Hi, this is a video for computerrepairsburnley.co.uk I've got a laptop from a customer in Fence, which is about four or five miles from here. Um, it is a an Acer Travelmate P253-E. Uh, pretty new, it's only three or four months old, it was new in January. And the problem with it is that it has a smashed screen, as can be seen there. Nice big crack in the corner and the screen just stays white. Seems to be alright otherwise because you can sort of listen and watch the um, operating system load up. Just watch the hard drive flashing away and you just get the feeling that everything else is fine. I mean, it just needs a new LCD. I've been and found out that new LCD is only about 37 to 30 nine pounds got to take the old one out to look at the serial number around the back to, do, to be sure I'm getting the right part which is what I'll do now so I'll start stripping it down ok first thing take the little protective cover things off the two screws in the bottom left hand corner and then undo the screws Okay, I'm using one of these, it's like a guitar plectrum, it's kind of spudger the levery thing that comes with iPhone repair kits, just to separate the plastic two halves of the laptop screen surround. It's better to do it with a plastic implement rather than a metal one because you don't want to scratch it, especially on a laptop that's new. Okay, I've been all the way around with the plastic spudgery thing and it's basically a question of popping all the clips that hold the two halves together it makes horrible sort of snapping noises as they go but it just comes apart like that and there's the exposed LCD um, there's just some screws at the side there's this arm here which goes down to the hinge the same on the other side it's what actually holds the LCD into the plastic lid. So you just need to undo the screws at the side and the top and pop the LCD out and have a look at what's on the back of it. Right, we've undone the two screws either side at the top and there's three screws either side that hold it to the hinges. Um, and there's also this lead here which runs up from the base unit from the motherboard and is taped to the back of the LCD. And we can just tape that off. That's the, I guess, the USB lead going to the camera module up there. Uh, it's these numbers here that we need to look at to check we're getting the right replacement part. And also, there's some difference between the same part as to how the data cable plugs into the back of the LCD. So that's what we need to know really. So I can order the part and that's as far as I can go for now until it arrives and I'll just set this particular laptop aside and carry on with another one I've got to do. I might as well do a quick overview of how you actually detach the data cable. Um, they can be rather delicate. This gold plated socket here is what the plug is actually going into. It's all sort of hidden under this plastic tape that's there to provide a bit of strength. Stop anything bending around or releasing. So you really need to undo the tape rather than try and put any force on the plug socket assembly. See, it's come away rather nastily there. Do. 
very easy trying to do this with one hand. You get the idea. I'm going to put this down and do a proper job for the rest of it. I'm back to the Acer Travelmate laptop I've been working on. Uh, as you can see, I've taken the old LCD out, which is in my scrap gold pile. Um, okay, there's the new one. Came this morning. I managed to miss the post. So I've just got it from the sorting office. Um, Looks good as far as fitting is concerned. The data socket's in the same place, same number of pins. Um, we'll just have to fit it and see what happens. Right, that's it for this screen replacement for an Acer Travelmate 253E, I think, laptop. Um, I hope that's it, I haven't turned it on yet. There's the old screen. Nice shiny new screen. There's me. Let's see what happens. Yay. It works. Not another one. That's the second in a row that's had a naughty picture on it. Bye bye.